Hi everybody, in this video we're going to talk about our tasks for our floor plan by using HomeStyler. This is our day two tasks. Today we're going to see if we can open up our saved floor plan so that we can get our floor plan we started last week. We don't want to start from scratch again. We're going to learn how to add a garage to our first floor. We're going to add a whole new level to our floor plan. That's actually going to be our second floor that we're going to learn how to add today. We're going to begin to add some bedrooms on our second floor perhaps a master bedroom and a couple other bedrooms. And we're going to add at least one full bathroom upstairs on the second floor as well. So to get to our floor plan, we're going to log into Google Classroom. And our assignment 002, I'm going to look for the link to HomeStyler, which is this long, lengthy link here. And when I click that, it'll open up my HomeStyler site in a new tab in Google Chrome. And when it's done loading, it's going to say get started now, but I'm actually going to get started. You, you can see I have nothing on my grid. I need to sign in. And when I sign in, it'll, I'll be able to access floor plans that I saved last time. When I sign in, I'm going to make sure that I'm signing in as my Google account. That's me. If for some reason that's not you, you're going to switch accounts and then log in as yourself. So this is me. I'm confirming that's me. I'm going to click Google, and this is myself. I'm going to leave this page. It's OK. It'll come back to a new page of the Home Styler site. And when I'm here, I'm going to be able to now open up a floor plan that I saved previously. So I'm going to get started now. Now you can see I'm logged in as myself, which is, this is good. I'm going to come over to File. I'm going to do File, File and Open. File and Open will allow me to look for some previous designs. Do I want them to hang on to a design so I can continue to work on it later? No, because there's nothing here. This is just a blank design. I, I don't need to save this. This is the one I was working on last week. I'm going to open it up. and Here's my floor plan from last week. And Just to review, last week we added some doors and windows. Perhaps we changed the flooring. And we remember to toggle between 3D and 2D view. We press here. So here I am in 2D view. And just to review, I can zoom in and zoom out by using the magnifying glass or the scroll wheel on the mouse to make the grid have a little more room. What we're going to do first is we're going to add a garage. And in my room sizes tab, I've noticed that a garage, small, medium, and large, I'm going to go with a large garage. So somewhere in the neighborhood of 24 by 24 for my dimensions for my garage. I like a, a nice garage that's big where I can store things, let alone park my cars. And I'm going to give you guys a little tip. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Here comes a square room. This is going to be my garage. I'll change the floor in a little bit. You can make your, your first, oh, excuse me, you can make a room off to the side, get it the dimensions you want, and then you can drag that room to where you want it to go. So for my garage, I'm going to make it off to the side of the grid here. I'm going to drag out the walls and make it 24 by 24. Now, to remember, if we don't get 24 zero, we can zoom in a little, and it'll be a little easier to get 24 feet 0 inches. I'm going to make it 24 feet this way as well. And again, I'm making this off on the side of the grid. And I'll attach it to my rest of my floor plan when I get this done and figure out where I want to put it. To label this room, we single click the floor and press the info button. I'm going to use my keyboard, label this as my garage. And I'm not going to have a wood floor in my garage. I'm going to go to, again, click on the floor one time and go to the paint bucket tool to get our room style. I'm going to change the floor. And I'm going to change it to actually call it tile, but I'm going to look for some concrete that I can put on the floor for my garage here. Let's see what I can find. Some granite. We have some bricks. Actually, that looks pretty nice. I'm going to go right here to my coal. Um, I'm going to do either this brick or I'm going to go with my pavers here. I've decided to change that to my brick. Now we're talking. Now, with my garage, I'm going to, to move the room. I'm going to click it once to select it. Now the, the walls are yellow. I can drag it around. 
drag this around to where I want to put it. Perhaps I'll hook it up to my living room here. I'm actually going to put my garage right here, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see my walls a little better. I'm going to click on my garage, have the walls turn yellow. I'm going to drag it right up here and let it go. Good. And now when I zoom out, this is where I want my garage to be. Perhaps I'll fill another room here in later. So now, when I go to 3D mode, I like this. I have a garage and this and that. It looks looking good. For the garage door to review, I can come over here. I can select doors. I'm going to do garage doors. There's only one option available. I'm going to click and drag that door right here. And since I have a two-car garage, I'm going to make two doors. One door and another door. Much better. Now in my garage, I have two doors. Okay, let's talk about adding a second floor. If you need to pause there, you can do that. That'd be a good time for you. And when you come back, we'll talk about adding a new level. So welcome back. We're going to add another level to our floor plan, our second floor. And to do that, I come right up here next to Zoom. And here's first floor option. I'm going to select that. I'm going to add a level down at the bottom. I'm going to call this room my second floor. Type that with my keyboard. And that's all I need. I'm going to press OK. Oh no, the first floor is gone. It got erased. No, nope, don't worry. Just switch back. We can switch right here and go back to our first floor. It's still here. I'm OK. And I can click again and go back to my second floor. So this is my second floor, and I'm going to draw from scratch. And my room is gone, so I can come back to this, and I can build rooms again. And then this is where I can start building my, my bedrooms. I'm going to look at my sizes. And it says here for a master bedroom, my sizes. I'm going to make a 16 by 22 master bedroom. So in my home styler, I'm going to start with a room here, and just like before, stretch it out. I'm going to make this 16 by 22. And this way, I'm going to make 22 feet. Oops. So here's my undo arrow. You guys remember how to make the rooms. We're just dragging and dropping. 16 by 22. 22 feet, 0 inches. Got to zoom in a little more so I can get to 0 inches. There we go. So here's my master bedroom. I'm going to click it once in info. Call this my master bedroom. I'm going to click OK. Now my room's labeled. I'll get some carpet in there next. I'm going to add another square room. And I'm going to put it off to the side for just a second. This is going to be my master bathroom. And I see my master bathroom measurements are small, medium, or large. I'm going to make a 10 by 14 master bathroom. It's within the range here. So in this room, I'm going to make it 10 by 14. 14, 0, and 10 feet this way. Zoom in a little because I'm stuck on 10, 1. There we go. Now I'm going to click here in Info and label this as my master bathroom. Press OK. Now to attach it, I can click once to select the room. And once it's selected, I can drag it. I'm going to drag and put it right here and snap it into place. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start making some other bedrooms. So I'm just going to repeat the process and drag another room and, and put it over here. Remember to change the floors. We click once and come to the room style. I'm going to put carpet in my bedroom. I like that. And in the bathroom, I'm actually going to go to room styles and change the floor. I'm going to add some tile in the bathroom. And with the blue theme, I'm going to add the ocean wave tile. That's going to look nice. OK. Now, the last thing we want to do, remember, as we talk about we need a way to get into these rooms. There's no way to get into the bathroom. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to select a door. And it's an interior door. And now I can select a door for my bathroom. And I'm going to go with this nice door here to go into my bathroom. I want the door to open the other way. I'm going to flip this over like this. And now we have a door. 
Very good. Very good. So remember to use your undo arrow if you make a mistake. Um, we're going to file and save. We'll, we'll save. We can do this, save button or save as. If you do save as, um, you know what, well, let's just go with save today. It'll be a little easier. File and save. It'll save your design for you automatically. And then you can just keep working on your floor plan and always refer back to your room designs.